Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. As I said last week on my YouTube channel is that I would be starting a vlog series about me running a marathon and this is a continuation of that. So I'll, I will be running the NYC Runs Brooklyn Marathon on April 24th of 2022. So it's next spring. And a quick side note on that is that I'm gonna be dubbing these episodes in percentage points as you guys can obviously see by now. But the, re the reason for that being is I think percentage points actually tell like more of the story of how much time is, has passed, time needs to pass and whatnot. And it reminds me of one of my favorite animes, Mob Psycho. You know, I thought that was pretty cool, but it, it, whatever. So anyway, some things I think you guys should know about me is, one, I have asthma, you know, chronic disease. I've had it since I was a little kid and whatnot. And it, it was affecting me like the first couple of days of training. But now I'm starting to feel a little, little bit better. You know, I feel like my endurance getting back up. You know, I'm consistently attacking this every day. And another point, you know, like I am out of shape. Like I haven't worked out in quite a while. So, you know, like early on, and I mean, still like every mile is a job. <laughs> like when I first started this, like a little bit more than a week ago, maybe like eight, nine days now, just finishing up a mile was hard. You know, it, it is hard. So, but I do want to say it's, it's just, it's harder to start, you know, like I, I, I'm i down this road and just how, how much everything has changed in a week. Like it's been amazing. So like, I don't want to scare anyone to, to like not do it. It's completely worth it. But yeah, I mean, those are a little, some a little bit about me. So I, I do want to talk about like what my main goal is for this marathon and this vlogging and all that. And, you know, I want to make this simple. Like my main goal is literally hit the finish line. And with hitting, with completing that goal, like there are like other goals I need to hit for that to happen. And you know, this is all, honestly like my second, it, this is like my real main goal is to stay healthy. That, that, that's it. I have to stay healthy above all else. You know, like I want to push myself, but I don't want to push myself into injury uh, like or anything, you know, like knock on wood, I, like any of the sort. Because with staying healthy, that's the only way I can actually like complete the race. But it's also like how on a day to day basis, I attack my workouts, you know, and I, I don't miss a step. Um, you know, th that's pretty much what it is. And honestly, another goal is just like staying consistent with all this. And I think that speaks more to the vlog vlogging part, staying consistent. And it's really just, it's accountability, you know, like I had, I know I had to upload this like every Sunday. Uh, you know, going forward, I do plan to make like smaller episodes on week to week basis. And, you know, maybe like after I hit a month, I'll drop like a bigger breakdown, but we'll talk about that more later on. But, um, yeah, just being the accountable, like the accountable stuff, the vlogging, it's that like, or right, for example, t like if I didn't know I had to share this video today, I don't know if I hit my last like my the goal I set for myself up last week in the last episode I put up in the comments I said I want to run a 5k I ran a 5k on Saturday like I actually got that that completed and you know I mean this really just helps me being accountable and all that um and that's it we'll talk more about the 5k later on in the episode uh for now I do want to show you some of my gear you know from running sneakers and all that so let's let's get to that first thing I want to share with you guys is that I have an Apple watch I love it. Uh, I use it to track all my workouts from walking, running, and whatnot. And it's been really helpful for all that. But also the Nike Run Club, which is a, it's a free app. I think it came in pre-installed on my watch, actually. But, you know, sometimes when I don't want to think of a workout, I'll just check it in here and pick one of the guided runs out. And they have been helpful. But they've also just been helpful just to have a coach in your ear reminding you about you know, checking on your form, your breathing and whatnot. And, you know, it's just nice. And I go out also with my AirPods, you know, listen to music, uh, listen to the guided run alongside of it. And it's just, it's, they, they, they've been a really helpful duo. I don't like going out for runs with my phone. 
I, I, I just find it cumbersome. They're, you know, they're heavy, they're a distraction, social media and whatnot. It's just nice going outside with the lightness of just a watch and AirPods. Hey everyone, so the next thing I wanted to show off were what kind of sneakers I'm using to run. So the one on the left are more for, you know, street running, asphalt, track, uh, all that. And they are called the Nike Air Zoom Tempo Next Percentage Flyknits. It's, it's an incredible name. The one on the right are all-terrain sneakers that I've actually had for quite a while now. I love them. I used to use them for like sprints on grass. But now I'm using them more for like hiking trails and whatnot. And those are the Adidas Turex Agravic Flow Shoes. They're all-terrain sneakers. So let me just show you guys the bottom real quick. You know, again, these are street running sneakers, asphalt track. I use them all for that. And these are all terrain sneakers for hiking trails, grass, whatnot. Hey guys, so the last thing I wanted to show off were what kind of jacket I'm using and some of my thermals. So this is a Octorex jacket uh it's been very nice it's, it's nice and light but it keeps me it keeps me really warm throughout my entire runs and whatnot i got it in orange because you know you want to be safe on the street you want to be hit by anything uh you want to actually make it back home <laughs> so honestly this has been i i am not a professional at like getting winter running gear i just went online looked up some of the best winter running jackets and this came up and it's lived to my expectations it's been very nice so the next thing is this these this is a thermal i got from 32 degrees it's a website i'm going to link it in this description so i was looking for cheap thermals and these came out for like six seven bucks each because they're currently on sale and I, you know I, I i love these things so far uh this one's brand brand new uh yeah 32 degrees and it, it's it's nice you know it doesn't retain too much sweat they're cheap and honestly that's why i love the, they're cheap because I, I can buy so many for like a winter wardrobe another thing i'm still looking for like joggers sweatpants and whatnot so if you guys can recommend me any of them that are just are not wallet breakers that would be really nice so I had a Broly. So just to piggyback off everything I just said, I know like I showed off all my gear and you know, running can get, can get pretty expensive. I understand that. So, you know, just, just like let you guys know, like my way is not the right way. Everything I got is not, doesn't, it, it might not be right for you. That's completely fine. Just the one thing I do want to just recommend is to look into all terrain sneakers like i do recommend recommend mine you know they're not too expensive they're nice but the reason being is that i do recommend especially for beginners but this goes for all skill levels i know a a any top runner will tell you this run on like grass hiking trails whatnot they're excuse me they're a great workout just because they're they're good on your joints you know uh it's just it's a softer ground uh, you know, it's not that much in as much impact as asphalt and all that, but you're getting a harder workout in just because of like the uneven surfaces, elevation shifts. So, you know, I've been running on a hiking trail lately because like the first couple days I started to feel like some soreness in my left knee from running on asphalt, the street. And I decided, you know what, I'm just going to run on grass. I love grass. And honestly, I've been feeling great ever since. You know, I feel a little bit more sore in like my feet, and some of my muscles, my calves, but that's fine. You know, those aren't joints. And that, that's good. I'm getting a tougher work, workout in. And I do have a checklist here. I just want to tell you guys how my entire week has gone. So, you know, Monday I started feeling the, the discomfort in my left knee. You know, I was running on asphalt for, I think, since like Wednesday prior up until this Monday, I started feeling some discomfort in my left knee. And that's when I started running on grass after. Also, the first two days and nights were hard with my asthma. Uh, you know, I'm starting to grow out, grow out of it a little bit. And another thing, I did take a late night walk on Tuesday. And I listened to a podcast. And I think that might be the best 
format to listen to podcasts or audiobooks. Going for walks. Uh, I think music just throws it off a little bit. Um, and then one, Wednesday, I did another two mile run. I, I always walk before and after, you know, warm yourself up and whatnot. And then Thursday was actually supposed to be like a recovery day for me, but it was so nice. I ended up just going outside, doing a long walk, did, did some sprints. Now we're gonna try doing some sprints. We're just gonna do four sprints in total. Right there when I jogged, it was four laps in total. It was just to warm yourself up and all that, get ready for the strides. But these sprints, today sort of was supposed to be a recovery day. So we're just gonna go at like 70 to 80% all out for sprints. Hey, so that's it. Today was a recovery day. All I did four sprints, but that's enough. Just getting my feet wet once, once again in sprinting. But it's just about sneaking workouts in when your body feels capable, for me at least. And I don't know, we'll see where it takes us from here. Then Friday was a recovery day, but just to keep you know, the, the movement going, I ended up just doing another four mile walk, which was nice. And then Saturday, I did the 5K. Hello, hello, how's everyone doing? On my way to the park right now, I'm gonna do a, my, my, five co my 5K, my first one. It was the goal I set up for myself in my first video in the comments. And you know, once a week, I'm gonna, like, for every single video, I'm gonna try to give myself a goal to hit. And right now it's 5K. We'll see how it's going to go. Today is a nice day, as you all can see, but it is starting to get pretty brisky. So I'm all set up and all that, and I'm headed to the park. And the reason being for the park, it's that uh, I'm, I'm trying to be easy on my joints, you know, run on earth, run on grass, whatnot. So that's all, that's all it is. Listening to the new Adele right now, getting myself humped. <laughs> Height, pumped, all that. So we'll see how it goes. Yo, just completed my 5K. I feel great. It's done. That's the first goal killed. <sighs> feeling a little sore. You know, my, my right calf is feeling it a little bit. I took a couple breaks, but I just kept going, you know? Like, yeah, I had to be walking for like short stretches, but you know, I just, I kept the run going. <sighs> but, yeah, there's no duration I can't complete when I'm listening to Can I Get It by Adele. That shit is fire. That whole that whole album is, is fantastic. But 5K completed. Hey, so we're closing out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all that. You know, if you guys have any thoughts or anything, just let me know. But I just want to talk a little bit. I know... I had some people tell me they liked a few things I've said from the last video, especially about like the control stuff, about taking control again. And just talk a little bit about this, you know, the whole control thing and why, why I'm doing this race. I just want to add to that and just say like, you know, for anyone, you just want to control the controllables. Whatever can be controlled, you know, con control that. You can't control everything you out there. You know, like sometimes injuries happen or, you know, work gets in the way. You know, you just don't have, a, don't look at other people's standards at, at, at yourself. You know, you're running your own race. You're only running against yourself and no one else. And to others, it's just don't speak on anyone's situation unless it's something positive because you just don't know what they're going through. Um, you know, we just, we have to remind ourselves that running any form of exercise is a privilege to do. It's it's a fun privilege. And, you know, people might just not have the time. Uh, work. They have health issues that you just aren't aware of. And, you know, you don't have to be aware of. And, you know, I was, I was running this week and it was starting to get cold. But 
I was just getting so much satisfaction, like in the middle of the race, you're in stride, you have your breath under control, and it's just nice. And you, you know, you want to take advantage of that when you can, and just go out there and have fun. <sighs> and that's it. Again, remember, you're not running against anyone but yourself. You know, you're not running against the famous marathon runner in your neighborhood or Usain Bolt. You're not running against me. You're literally running just against who you are at that moment. You know, you're trying to get a better time. You're trying to get a workout in, things like that. And, you know, all right, that's pretty much it. Let's close out this episode. The goal for this week, I just want to, you know, we did the 5K. This goal... You know, Thanksgiving's coming up. I don't want to be brash on myself. So it's going to be sleep eight hours a night every single night. I have issues with that. I always tap out around seven hours. But lately, I've been hitting that eight-hour mark every now and then since I've been cutting out caffeine. So let's try to see if I can make that more consistent. So we're going to try to sleep eight hours a night. That, that should be nice. And another thing, you know, episodes episodes won't be as long as this episode is right now you know going like when i finish this i don't want this to be like a three four hour mess like a a, a Zack snyder film <laughs> but you know i want it to be condensed so we're just gonna do like weekly videos some like smaller videos and then we'll have like a monthly breakdown when we can and that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe comment all that you know email me for anything and I just hope you guys have a good week and have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.